Hi everybody, it's SRQ. Let me get my coffee. My honey treated me to Starbucks. It's a white chocolate mocha ice. You guys know how I get down. Okay, let's start off. We have a Cub Food Hall, everybody. My local store. First thing first, I have this chicken broth with 33% less sodium, you guys. So I can add with my soup. Because this way, I don't have to worry about over-seasoning it or under-seasoning it. It's already seasoned. Whatever this is, this would be enough. So I purchased this so I can make me a soup with next month. I purchased me this accent, 60% less sodium than salt. I like it. It tastes, make your food taste good when you're dealing with meats. So I'm going to try it on my plant-based meat. I used to use it on ground turkey and ground beef, but I'm going to try it on my plant-based meat. I've been looking at it for a while, and today was... I seen it cheaper than the other prices, so I purchased only one of those. Next. I didn't see any Taco Bell season at this Cub location today, but I did see McCormick. I got the 30% less sodium. McCormick just got two packs just to have, you guys. So, okay, so I'm with my tacos or whatever I need, I'll have this already on deck. And two packs of the ground braid brown gravy 30 percent less sodium so i could have i want to eat with rice or make my stuff whatever i'll have my seasonings down packed right there as you can see so i'm good to go next this is something new i'm trying simply lays veggie pop oh they said ranch oh my gosh this say ranch flavor i'll give it a try you guys know i'm really not a ranch flavor i'm just looking at real veggies I wasn't thinking about the flavor at the bottom, but we'll give it a shot. That's how they look. Ballets. These was not a reasonable price. They say five something, but they was actually less than that, but still. I think the regular price was on sale price claiming to be four something, I suppose. I don't know, but anyway, I went on ahead and got some of the same items that I purchased before because I tried it a different way and I like it on the taco shelf. Y'all remember these plant-based soul cuisine crispy balls, which is plant-based bites. I went on ahead in person for one. The price was still $4.99, which is a great deal. And I put them on uh, the taco shells, which they taste real good that way. So I went on ahead and purchased two of them. Again, instead of buying the chicken fries, which was $10, I got two bags for less than $10 or for $10. So, yeah, I purchased two of these again. My plant baked meats. I like them. I said I was going to start like giving stuff a try before I tell y'all I don't want it. I don't like it. The same thing as the Dollar Tree. Give it a while. So, and try it different ways before I just give up. Okay, next thing I purchased was two of these. I was gonna get them other crab rubines, crab wontons I seen, but these were cheaper. I think this a name brand. And they come eight to 10 wontons with the sauce. These was on sale for $3.99, so I just purchased two of them. This is a snack, basically. That's all this is. I wanted some cheese sticks, but I'd rather get them from the Dollar Tree or from uh, White Castles. But anyway, so two boxes, which is a great deal for $3.99. They was almost out of those. What else I got? See, I have put everything in the refrigerator, you guys. So let me grab it out. Everything I put in here. So I can show you what I got. Which this is it right here. This is basically it. Okay. I purchased another one of Mission Street Taco Shells, which I told you guys that I love very much. Use these for these and my plant-based uh, ground beef. So, yeah. This is my bread for the next few days. Next, I went on ahead and purchased, purchased another small one. They was two for five. But I went on ahead and just got the small one. The lettuce underneath looked, it, looked it better to me than the other ones did. But I purchased one. Spring mix, y'all know how I get out. I use this 
that's the color is red but see how the lettuce it look pretty fresh down there at the bottom so i purchased one spring mix because the other one i have to throw away because it's old next i purchased one container of sour cream which they said it was on clearance i mean on sale which it really wasn't so just one I purchased one Panera bread. This is what I also went in there for. Broccoli and cheddar soup. My friend Lynn had purchased for me the first time. But I know how to stretch it. It's already kind of watery. Really don't need to stretch it. But I figure like if I put a little water in it and add some more veggies, it would be good. But I didn't get any more veggies. But I eat it just like this with some water and crackers like I did last time. I'll be good. I ate off of this for like three days. So this three days, whether it's lunch or dinner, this worth three days for something. So I purchased me another one of those, which is my new soup for the year and next year too. And I also purchased another Coffee Mate vanilla bean, not French vanilla. I switched back so I could have it for my regular hot coffee. I didn't buy any milk, you guys, because I already have milk and I don't need any more coffee right now until our next month. I'm going to have to work with what I got this hot coffee. And I have this little left. This only enough for about two more go arounds, but I don't need this today, so this will last me for another day or two. Maybe just another day when I need it. But I have uh, hot coffee and plenty of cream, so the weather won't permit. I'm good on coffee, and this is my coffee of choice for the day. I drank half of the hot one. I pulled that one out. That coffee so strong. It had a whole kitchen smelling like coffee. It's good, but... All right, you guys, thank you guys for watching. And these Dollar Tree candles right here, you guys, actually let off a little smell. The luminescent ones, they actually let off a little smell, especially the white one that I had in there. If I see those on clearance, I'll get them. But anyway, you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Happy Taco Tuesday. I'll be back when I get ready to do an eating chat. It might be a sketch, of course. I don't know. But subscribe if you're new and don't forget to turn your notification bells on so you'll be notified each and every time SRQ go live and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.